Y'all, we got it. We got just a major issue here. It's to it's really tearing up the fruit orchard, and hopefully today, the tag team, me and Brooke, can get this thing fixed. What are y'all doing this morning? Huh? Ready for some food? Huh? Can I get a fist bump? Thank you, girl. That's what I'm talking about. But first, I gotta get your bowl. Yeah? For some reason, somebody likes to take take the bowls off. I don't know who that could be. I don't know who I don't know who that could be at all. Nope. I don't. No clue. <laughs> what is going on, y'all? Jason, I got the honeymooners here. Over here at Cog Hill Farm. Hope y'all having a lovely day. And I hope you're gonna enjoy your breakfast as much as the honeymooners. Lovely Loretta and the Gus Bus. I know, girl, we're gonna get you this morning. Yeah. We gonna get y'all, yeah. We gonna get y'all. Luckily, don't look like it. It is officially warming up. We're above freezing. Okay, let me get back that belly. <laughs> We're above freezing, y'all. Just the day the sun is not out this morning. Okay, okay, okay. I'll stop talking. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm getting you. Let's put some water on it. Come on. Come on. All right, you two. Y'all come on. Let's go. I got your breakfast ready. Come on, Loretta. Come on, Loretta. There you go. But yeah, it's warming up. It's above freezing. It's like 33, 34 degrees this morning. Um, no sun, though. And got a crazy south wind. We really don't get really south winds around here. I mean, I say we don't. It's not the norm. It's either west or north. Hey, Big Daddy. How you doing, Big Daddy? You doing okay? Well, y'all, the girls are back in town. Brooke and Mary Carl are back from their big trip in, in Kentucky. They went to the National Pigeon Show, had a wonderful time. If you didn't see that video of their trip and all those beautiful but odd and crazy looking birds and the big snow Brooke drove through, go check it out on Brooke's channel. She uh, posted a video, put it out yesterday. But um, they're back. And so Brooke, I told her about her job she's got to do. And she's super excited. So <laughs> mama will be on the tractor today. If you guys don't know, Mr. Greg came and fixed uh, a drainage issue that we've been having here on the farm. And it needs a little tidying up and some dirt moved. And y'all know Brooke, if it has anything to do with that tractor, she's game. So that is one of our big goals today is, is to try to get that dirt moved as much as possible and spread out. And y'all, since it is above freezing, I'm thinking about uncovering the garden because we got a bunch of rain coming in and along with that rain, we got temperatures close to the 70s. It originally was going to be like 72, but now they're saying like 68 or something like that. But I mean, 68, 72, I mean, it's nearly not that much difference. But a far cry difference <laughs> from my, my little weather station that I have here on the farm. Uh, the lowest it got during this cold vortex plunge thing whatever you call it was nine degrees that's what it showed so i think i think our local weather people show something around 11 so again what's 11 and 9 i mean seriously but you know we're talking about we're talking about a 60 degree swing in like five days that's just crazy all right moody i'm gonna hush i'm gonna quit talking and get you guys fed sorry buddy I'm hoping y'all, I'm hoping, I am a little concerned about the garden because it is just, it's just gotten cold and just cold for an extended period of time. So, you know, the first, the first day that I covered it up, you know, the temperatures plummeted, but we had that freezing rain, that ice and the snow. Good morning, Nugget. Hey, buddy. Sorry, I was talking. I was talking to the family here and 
didn't didn't say good morning. So, good morning, my man. Good morning, Sheriff. You've had your coffee this morning. Hmm? You and Deputy Goldie. All right, I got to get back to work. Okay, I'll come feed y'all in just a second. And I think that really did a great job of of insulating and holding the the fabric down or the frost cloth. But then. Whew, we had a two-day snap where the temperatures got up into the 50s, low 50s. And then it plummeted again. And then we had two or three days in a row of extremely cold weather. Just barely, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13 degrees wind chill in the single digits. So we, um, we've had some crazy weather. So I'm hoping the garden has survived. I think the collard greens and the onions of anything, those two things probably I feel the most comfortable about, but it's the, um, everything else. So fingers crossed, we got things to do before we get to that point. The main thing is, is I got to get the boss lady breakfast done. Good morning, my lovely. I see that you unmade your bed this morning. Do you think you can make it back up? I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Don't don't knock the gate over. I gotta get your feed going first, baby. For those that don't know, Peaches gets one red solo cup per Toby Keith of mini pig feed. Per her vet, she gets, or per the vet school in Auburn, she gets one kid's vitamin. And I don't know if you noticed, but Gus and Loretta get a kid's vitamin, too. Also, per the vet school, she gets a little bit of mineral oil. Got to keep that girl regular. Look out, Hollywood. And we wet their feet. And we did Gus and Loretta's, too. Y'all saw that. Only thing Gus and Loretta don't get is the mineral oil. That's the only thing. Everything else, they get the same. Now, there are two different breeds of pigs. Peaches is a Vietnamese potbelly pig. Let that soak for a second. And Gus and Loretta are Cooney Coonies. So that's the difference between the two. What y'all doing this morning, hmm? What y'all doing? But two totally different pigs. Two totally different pigs. They're completely different. I've noticed that the Cooney Coonies love to graze. And they like to root. Peaches is not a rooter at all. And Peaches is definitely not a grazer. Plus, Peaches has never liked any other pigs we've brought on the farm many 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 years ago we got peaches a partner his name was marshall she didn't she didn't like marshall at all and he was a potbelly pig then of course we brought gus and loretta in and her and loretta were like oil and water we didn't get along at well <laughs> just didn't get along that's <laughs> all that's all it is to it it was like it was like housewives of atlanta yeah, it just wasn't happening. Good morning, goat family. How y'all doing this morning? Y'all know mama's back? Hmm? Mama and Mary Carl are back. How about that? And mama is going to get started on some uh, dirt work today. She is. She is. Hey, buddy. What's going on, Skipper Tipper? I see you, big man. I see you, big man. All right, guys, I'm going to let you out. I got to come over here and talk to my boy, Top. Hey, partner. Big Top with his blue beard. I see your little blue beard. Do y'all need some minerals? Yep. Uh, some of y'all done did number two in the mineral bucket. We're going to get that out, though, sir. Get y'all some more minerals here directly. All right. I'm going to let you guys out, guys and girls. Sorry, I just say the word guys, and I mean everybody. It's not that I just mean males only. Isn't that right, Aunt Jessie? Good morning, Aunt Jessie. All right, Capri, don't mess with the camera. Y'all, I don't know what it is. You know, I could take a stick and just shove it in the ground, and they wouldn't care nothing about it. But this little bitty tiny camera on the stick, it's like a magnet. What is it? What is it about it? Hmm? Do y'all know it's a camera, and y'all just like to be on camera? Is that what it is? Hmm? Is that what it is? Oh, goodness, Jesse. Hey, Mildred. There's Miss Mildred this morning. 
Hey girl, you gonna be glad your mama's back, yeah? Thank y'all for no drama with no mama the last few days. I sure do appreciate that. I do. Absolutely do. You gonna see over on that tractor here directly. That's right. I see the nugget of Goldie right there. I think. I can't. I think that's Goldie. I can't tell. I can't. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes I can nail it just like that because I can see their whole body, but the fence is covering it up, him or her up, and it's hard for me to tell which one that is. How's that breakfast this morning, girl? Hmm? Got that south wind. I'm going to shut this door a little bit. I'm going to shut it up. Now, I'm going to leave it like this, y'all, because this thing right here will open that door. The easier I make it for her to open that door, the less all this banging she does on it, so... You guys sure are vocal this morning, aren't they, Holly? Yep, they're vocal. All right, let's go check the emus feed real quick. See how they're doing this morning. Oh yeah, they got plenty. To have not gotten below freezing last night, the water sure are still cold. I guess because they're in the shade. I mean, they're frozen solid. What's going on, buddy? Hmm? What's going on? Hmm? That is Mr. Nug. Where's Goldie? Oh, I see her. Goldie's way over yonder. I see Miss Goldie. She sleep late? You let Goldie sleep late this morning? Mm hmm? Hey, guess what? Mama's back. Yeah. Mama's back this morning. She gonna be on that tractor today. She sure is. Hey, Biscuit. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. How you doing, Biscuit? Hmm? How you doing? All right, let's put those loose minerals out. For the guys and girls. All right, y'all. Now Top's beer can get blue again. So let me show you guys exactly, exactly what our plans are over here by the fruit orchard and exactly what Brooke's gonna try to get done today. Um, I don't think I got into super details about it, just vague, but I'm gonna give you some more description about what's going on over there. Right, Holly? Come on, girl. Then me and you, we gonna go check that garden, see how it's going. What you think? How you think it's going? To, huh? How you think it's going? Think it's gonna be okay? I hope so. Come on. I really wasn't expecting it to feel this cold today. The sun comes out, it'll, it'll change everything. Hopefully it will. Give y'all a little update on Brooke. She's still having roller coasters. We actually, we actually thought, we really did. You know, she started drinking the well water and it's got lots of minerals in it. And y'all immediately, her symptoms went away. Immediately. I mean, it was almost instantaneous. And we really thought we were on to something. We did. We thought there was something in the, in the well water, a mineral or something that her body may be missing, and it changed everything. But that was six days straight of her feeling very, very well, almost back to her old self. And then the bad, the bad feeling, um, not feeling well. She, to me, the way she explains to me, is just kind of like having a, a fever. You know, your body aches and that kind of thing. And it came back. And it's been back bad. And then it may drop down not near as bad. But her feeling really, really well again is gone. So, I don't know. We're, we're going we're gonna to continue to experiment with some things. We're going to change, which we have been experimenting with diets. But we're going to change diets up. I'm going to continue to drink the well water, which we think is better for us anyways than the than the, the county water that we're on. She is still waiting to get in with a uh, rheumatologist. And when all that comes about, I'm sure she'll let you guys know on her channel or we will let you guys know on the main channel as well. So just uh, still a roller coaster ride. She woke up this morning. She told me she felt 
fairly good, but not, you know, not, not a hundred percent, but the, uh, the riding on a tractor that will take her mind off things that will give her something to do. It's not strenuous. She's not going to overdo herself or anything like that. Um, She'll be concentrating on what she's doing and, you know, figuring things out because there's some stuff that needs to be taken down and moved. And she's really good at that. So that would definitely, definitely keep her mind off things. So I'm, I really am grateful that we had this done now. Um, we, me and her have talked about it. We do plan on as soon as this wet weather comes through next week or this week, um, we do plan on uh, starting back pulling the cattle fence. Uh, I think what we'll do is just get her where she's on the tractor, pull and fence. I'll do all the strenuous work, kind of like we did with the pasture, the pond pasture over here. All right, let me show you guys this over here. Y'all is trying to come on out. <laughs> come on out. We need you. <laughs> we need you. Come on out. Whoo. Tell them, Nugget. We need that sun, don't we, buddy? I mean... It's above freezing, but look at the where I cleaned the waterers out. They're still <laughs> frozen. <laughs> oh, goodness. That sun comes on out, though. It'll definitely warm things up for us around here. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Is that number one, it's real rough. So we're going to smooth everything out. Or say we. Brooke is until she gets tired and I'll help out. Um, but we're gonna smooth everything out. But this heel here is a little too high. You probably can't tell on camera at all. But it is, it's too high. Mr. Greg didn't like it. And so he said we thought we ought to take it down. And to save a little bit of money, uh, Brooke's gonna do it. And anything that she messes up or we can't do, then Mr. Greg will run over here, over here and fix it for us. But we're going to try to take this heel down about a foot from about this pole all the way down. And then we got these piles of dirt over here that we got to move to. I would love to save these piles of dirt for the Potage Garden raised bed area. So that's another thing we're going to uh, figure out where to put it. Also, you guys, you know, y'all been with us or the ones that have been with us from from the get go. Y'all know this whole area where the house is, everything right in here. This is all totally different than it was when we first got here. And so Mr. Greg had to cut a lot of this area out to make it drain right, to make it for the house and all that. And when he did, you know, it cut it down to this gravel area. So we're having a really hard time um, getting uh, grass to get started on it. What was kind of doing in this spot right here as just the water was coming off this hillside over here and it was puddling up right here and then it would hop this area here because it was too low and it was cutting a rut right down through here and everything shed from the house so we weren't worried about that but it was cutting a rut then it was turning and then when it was turning it was coming through here down through here it was cutting a rut right through here going through here and it was just blowing this out you can see that water would come right down through here it hit right there let's see that blow all that out you're gonna see all that's gone and this is what was happening another area of concern as we're walking through here was we had a spot up here that it was hopping over it was right here this was the worst one this was really worse one right here so that water was coming through the ditch or the berm area wasn't big enough so it not only would it hop the original uh, area right there it come and hop my berm you can see where it was just blowing all of the mulch out coming right through here you can see all this was all just being blown out all that but now this new ditch we had built should eliminate I don't think it's gonna eliminate all of it, of course, but it's gonna eliminate a bunch of it for sure. I mean, it's gonna be way better, especially for the fruit orchard.
All right, so while Brooke's gonna work on this, I really wanna go check on the garden. So let's pull it up. Let's pull the frost cough up and see what it looks like. All right, y'all, so here we are in the garden. I've only looked at it that one time, and that was the day after the big freezing rain and all that. Since then, I haven't been over here because the winds have been so bad, so much so that this one right here would not stay down with the staples. It was just ripping it through, so I had to put some block on it. And you see, I've been putting rocks on them and stone to try to keep this down. Let's see what we look like. Fingers crossed. Uh, first up is my collard greens. Now these are the ones that I think will make it, but I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong. And we do have some wind today too, but nothing like we've had in the past. What may have saved me is that the ground was wet. Collards look okay. Collard greens look okay. They're flattened down a little bit, but collard greens look okay. But you guys can see a little bit of black where it got hit a little bit right there. But that's fine. I mean, they're okay. Matter of fact, a lot of the um, older gardeners always tell me that they're better once they've been bit. They become less bitter or sweeter, depending on who you talk to. So this row is one of the ones I'm worried about. This side is collard greens, so they should be fine. This side I'm worried about is turnip greens. Now, my all-top turnip greens was one of the first things to die last year in the freeze. I will say it's still standing. Oh my gracious y'all, look at this. But this, I mean, it's flattened because that cover is on. You can see where some of it got bit right there. But this right here does not look like a plant that ain't gonna make it. It quite frankly looks fairly good. Wow. Wow. I literally can't believe it. Yesterday when I was out here, my gut was telling me um, your garden ain't gonna look pretty. And that is the truth. I just knew this was going to be gone. I really did. If the turnip greens made it, there's a good chance my broccoli did. But there's also a good chance the broccoli will be one of the ones that won't make it. Broccoli likes cool weather, but it don't like that kind of cold weather. See, I could have grown Brussels sprouts this year. That's something that we don't fare well here in the south because of the temperatures don't get cold enough, but I think I could have grown them this year. Let's see here. Ooh, the broccoli looks okay. Hey, 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 hey. This is just unreal. I don't know, I don't, it's like magic. I don't know how this works. I mean, look at the broccoli, y'all, look at that unreal i'm shocked i really am shocked all right here's my mustard greens this is also a tender it's a green but it's not as hardy in my opinion but it looks brand new it looks like nothing's happened to it almost the swiss char looks great now it's a purple swiss char so it's supposed to look like that it looks fine the calendula looks okay last up is onions and my green salad mix yeah, it's fine. I believe it's fine, y'all. Now, we had cut this, but this over here we hadn't cut. And look at it. Look at that. I mean, there's, you can see where it did get bit a little bit right there. But it's definitely not dead at all. And this is cut and come back, so we could probably trim all this dead out. And it's going to just keep coming. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I am in total disbelief. If you've ever been on the fence about frost cloth, I'm a believer now, I will tell you guys that. Y'all wait till I go tell Brooke. <laughs> She's not gonna believe it. <laughs> oh, she is not gonna believe it. Hey, wait till Peaches find out. Holly, did you see the garden? Can you believe that? I can't believe it either. I cannot believe it. 
So I got to tell you something, and you honestly have no clue what I'm fixing to tell you. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. The garden is okay. <gasps> Even the salad greens look okay. That is wonderful news. Everything looks okay. That is awesome. And I told you last night that I didn't think it was going to be okay. No. <laughs> so this is this is very good news. Cause, mm. Well, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think we're going to have any temperatures that are colder than what it's been. If it does, I got the frost cloth. Well, I know, but I'm yeah. just saying, if it survived that with the frost cloth, then it's going to survive. Yeah, I'm in total disbelief. Wow. Now, I know sometimes, you know, maybe in a day or two, they'll die. But these look too good, in my opinion, for that to happen. This I mean, they look happen. good. You would have no idea that we've had the weather we've had. Great. Unreal. Great news. <laughs> I can continue on with having a salad for lunch. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Y'all, I just, I couldn't get my camera out fast enough, but Jessie was on it. I mean, she had to zoom me. Here she goes. <laughs> Here she goes. Let's see if she keeps doing it. She sees me, she may stop. But... <laughs> oh, goodness. That cooler weather got her frisky. Y'all, look what Brooke has got done. Hey, boys. How y'all doing? Y'all doing okay? Looks like it. She got all this done. Completely done. This, I mean, you know what? Even though we don't have any grass on it, this looks a million times better than that gravel. I mean, there is some gravel in it. We can't help that. Or just the way our ground is. But at least the grass has got something to adhere to now. <laughs> wow. I see you over here. I think she's putting some over here where we got more areas that are just pure gravel look how much better this area looks like how she got it smooth right there smooth look like she iced the cake this hills way way down now back to where it originally was the height that originally was and that's what mr greg wanted us to do if we could do it and brooke knocked it out of the park knocked it out of the park i mean gosh that looks way better Wow, looks good. I'm gonna go see where she's at. Let's go see where she's taking this other. She moved quite a bit of dirt. Quite a bit of dirt. Y'all can see how our road now turns and goes through here. Just perfect. Still gotta move a lot of this stuff here. But yeah, she's putting it down through here. This was all gravel, so we can plant grass on it as well. It's gonna look so much better. She looks like a ninja. Tommy, Tommy, what you think about the dirt work? It looks good, don't it, buddy? Yeah, I think so, too. And Miss Lucky back there. Good evening, Miss Lucky. Y'all enjoy your day, Loki, Sylvie. Y'all enjoy your evening. It's warming on up. I mean, warming up, y'all. It is 54 degrees now. <laughs> I don't even need a jacket. Isn't that crazy? Oh, me, that is so crazy. All right, y'all. Brooke is officially over. She is done. I just thought I recorded her talking to you guys, and I didn't hit the record button. It's just, oh, goodness. It's one of them days. <laughs> one of them days. Maybe I can get her back over here and talk. But it is done. Look at it now. Look how good it looks. Got a little bit more to do. I got my rake here and kind of smoothed this out and made it smooth where the water can flow pretty easy. It looks really, really good there too. And I think I'm gonna clean up the sides of that berm and swell right there up. But you can see Brooke got all of the piles gone. Got everything smoothed out. Got this heel cut down two foot like we wanted. 
And then she got all of the dirt spread out all in the front area here where we didn't have any just it was just gravel it was all gravel and look at it now got it all down through there but then she even came down through the fruit orchard where we had spots like right here we got all of this filled in here this was kind of washed out so we can get grass to grow up here same over there i'll come back with my rake and smooth out those high spots but so far y'all it is looking awesome this should really 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 stop this from happening right here so this spring we will plant some grass out here and it should take off it looks great and hopefully our road will stop washing right through here and if you guys remember one thing that we would love to do out here in the fruit orchard and this is this is way on down the road this is something that's not going to happen anytime soon but we would love to get a good high quality grass growing in here and we would love to put some baby doll sheep in here that's the little small sheep and uh, let those guys keep this grass cut down and probably get us a pair of them or a trio and just let them have at it just just something that we were that, that that is a future goal and on our wish list way on down the road so but this was the first step to getting there i love it love it love it love it love it love it don't you holly looks good doesn't it girl mm -hmm. it looks awesome 